What's up everyone, my name is William and today we're going to be going over the chord trigger MIDI effect that's included with Logic. Uh, I've opened up a new session here, we have an instrument track with an EXS24 on it and I've just opened up the Steinway Grand Piano 2 preset. You can just go down to Factory, Acoustic Pianos and Steinway Grand Piano 2 if you want to use the same preset as me. Um, I haven't recorded any MIDI for this uh, for this video yet because the MIDI effect we're actually going to be going over today, it's much easier to demonstrate uh, if we're just playing on a MIDI keyboard. Uh, so we're going to just jump right in. We're going to click on the MIDI effects box to open up our MIDI effects options, and we're going to click on chord trigger. So right off the bat, we have um, we're, we have two piano rolls here uh, that are thrown at us, and we have some buttons. We'll go over uh, them in detail in a little bit. But first of all, I'm going to open up a, a preset. Right now it's on factory default and I'm going to go down all the way to single, triads, and major. And we're going to be working with uh, some different presets. We're just going to work with the major one for right now though. So first of all, um, without this MIDI effect on, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to press the middle C key here and we're going to see what happens. It's just the middle C, right? It's a, it's a middle C on the piano roll. However, if I turn this on and I press a middle C since we are on the major preset of the uh, chord trigger, it's going to give us a major C chord. And that's essentially what chord trigger is. It, it allows us to play different chords based on whichever notes we're playing on our keyboard here. So right off the bat let's just go over some of the buttons at the top and, and go through so first of all we have these this single and multi button which we can switch between the the difference between these two is single is a single type of key so this is since we're in the major preset is a major uh, chord it's a major key so no matter what note we press on the keyboard I can press a C I can press a D I can press an E and so on, and it's going to give us the major chords of those notes respectively. However, if we're in multi-mode, uh, we can actually program different uh, chords based on different notes. You know, we could have the C note play a C major, but the D, the D note play a D minor, and, and so forth. We could just click learn here and just play any chord. I'm just going to play a simple C major chord here and I'll assign that C major chord to the C I played it with, which was C3, middle C. And so every time I press C3, it will uh, it'll play that major chord. However, let's go down to C2, and I'm going to play a C minor chord. And so now, the C2 plays a C minor chord. And the C3 plays a major chord. So that's one thing that's cool about multi. You can assign each individual note to a separate chord rather than in single mode where all of these are uh, major chords respective of the note they are. And uh, of course, uh, that's what the learn button does as well. It allows you to program different chords. You just click the learn button, play the chord you want it to learn, and then it will assign it to the root note of the key. Um, next, we have the clear button here, which this just clears the presets. So like in single mode, if I click clear, now we have, now we have no chords and nothing's gonna happen no matter what I press because it's not uh, registering any kind of output uh, because we've cleared it. So I'm just gonna load up the major preset again so we have those back. And um, so the next thing we're gonna go over is the trigger keys right here, which this is a bar you can drag, you can drag either end uh, or you can drag it around uh, like so. And that determines um, what kind of uh, what what keys you want to be affected by the chord trigger. So, for example, if we have our C2 here, we want the C2 to be able to play a major uh, a major C chord, but we don't want our middle C to play a major C chord. You can affect it uh, respectively. 
if you you know you can just have the C2 being in the chord trigger uh, area of the of the chord trigger and the uh, C3 not be in the trigger area. So that's just uh, something to keep in mind. So if you only want you know the lower half of your your piano roll or or just the upper half or or uh, whatever you want to do, um, that would be you know a way you could do that to. You know, certain keys could have certain chords and certain keys could just be regular keys. Um, so it gives you that freedom in case you don't want every single note to be a chord. Um, and the the last thing to go over really in this, in this MIDI effect is the chord transpose option right here. So if I'm playing middle C, since we have it in the trigger area, uh, it's going to be playing a C major chord since we're in the major preset. And of course, all these other presets are just different types of chords. These are, you know, you can get some more complex chords here, different intervals, or I mean, or other uh, just triads. You know, if we did minor, we have the, the C minor uh, chord. Uh, so those those are just different presets. So if, if you're not um, as well versed in your chords, then you can use this to even, even help you uh, learn some of the chords. Um, but moving on anyways, so we have we have our C major chord on, on middle C, and this chord transpose uh, dialog here, it's it's the last parameter that we, that we have to go over. It uh, allows you to transpose the chord up or down. So I'm gonna just hold the middle C note and, and move this up right now. So now I'm going to put it at three. So now the note starts on this D sharp right here, which is one, two, three semitones above where the middle C was. So that's just something to keep in mind. This is an easy way to transpose uh, if, you, if you wanted to transpose your chords at all. Uh, that's an easy way to do that. Um, but but that about wraps it up for the the chord trigger MIDI effect. I hope you learned something. Again, this is a great way to learn to learn your chords if you're not as well versed in them. Um, and there's there's plenty of, of different uh, presets. You know, many uh, different presets in the single mode, and there's also uh, quite a few presets in the multi mode. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, I hope you learned something though. Again, my name is William. Thank you for watching.